I don't know if you know about this place very much. I don't know. up the wonderful world of YouTube. Today we are headed to Mount St. Helens, the famous Mount St. Helens. Now I'm looking at the sky a little bit and it's a little cloudy. Um, forecast said it was clear skies um, so we'll see what happens out there. My goal is to hit the sunrise. Hopefully these images will be something that you guys can enjoy and be inspired by. So thank you again for coming and I hope we find some good images. Let's go chase that light. So you would think after doing some research online when they say it's gonna be clear skies with 0% chance of precipitation. Well, lesson learned, don't believe any meteorologists. They are lying to you because we are in a cloud, a wall of fog, I should say. Probably visibility of about five feet. <laughs> and uh, I don't even know where I'm stepping. All right, guys, listen up. Um, I know that I keep talking about Bigfoot and I know that it just keeps coming up in the vlogs and I keep hearing things or whatever. But I kid you not, we just heard Bigfoot again. And I'm hanging out with some friends here and I was talking about the experience at Mount Storm King. <laughs> and as soon as I was talking about it, we heard something, a, a vocal, a vocalization of an animal or a thing and I'm not gonna even try to replicate it because it's gonna sound p pathetic but I'm not joking once again um, I wasn't even gonna feature Jed in this video but I'm just gonna have to put him on camera right now Jed yeah it happened it happened so and now you guys aren't gonna start believing Jed either. <laughs> but I'm really telling you, there's something out here. Every night I go out and it is it is pretty crazy. Um, so I just wanna let you know how much I want these videos to be successful for you and what danger I'm putting myself and my friends in. Um, the friends that we're hanging out with are, are just getting into photography. So, and we wanted to show them uh, a good night out uh, under the stars, but it's foggy, can't see a thing. And yeah, now we just heard Bigfoot. So we're all hiding in our cars. <laughs> we're literally just jumped in our cars right now and just waiting it out. Hopefully nothing comes screaming at my window, um, but we're gonna wait for the fog to blow away and Hopefully the sky will light up again, um, but stay tuned and hopefully we'll be alive by morning. Good morning, Diesel. Good morning, my boy. Hi. Welcome to Mount St. Helens. You ready to go for a walk?
you know guys, sometimes you go on a little streak of losses. Sometimes you don't get your shot. And that's how it's been for me lately. And hey, guess what? I live in the Pacific Northwest. What do you expect? We're gonna wait here for a bit uh, for the sun to rise. And as it gets brighter, um, maybe it'll burn off some of this fog. Mount St. Helens is completely covered. You can't even see beyond uh, 50 feet right now. We'll see if uh, Mount St. Helens decides to show her face and greet us this morning. So after waiting about an hour and a half, it's about 7.50 right now in the morning. Uh, this is what patience gets you. Um, sun's starting to come out, clouds are starting to break. I just want to get a view of Mount St. Helens. I've never been this close before. And if there's an image to be had, we're going to definitely take it. Clouds are moving fast. The wind is nice and uh, brisk. It's blowing and uh, the light comes in, comes out, but you can definitely tell that the clouds are breaking. I'm definitely seeing a pattern here. So in the Pacific Northwest at least, sunrises are a very difficult time for photographers because most of the time there's a little mist cloud cover that has to break, especially during the summer. And once the sun gets high enough, it does burn out the uh, clouds that's covering your view. Just going to wait a little bit longer and see if we can get a shot here. So we are getting some interest uh, in the sky now. As you can see right here, I've kind of framed a shot where uh, I can be standing on that ledge right over there. And you get some a little bit of a silhouette look right here. Once the sun moves in uh, and you get enough cloud cover, then it won't be blown out in the highlights. Uh, right now I'm shooting at f13, 1 800th of a second, uh, and my ISO is 50 right now. like the views have reached its maximum potential. It'll be interesting to edit that photo and see how it comes out. Anyway, um, we do have a schedule to follow and we're probably going to try to hit some uh, waterfalls at the Columbia River, so stay tuned for that. So I'm here at Lateral Falls, uh, technically in the state of Oregon. Um, it is not necessarily a secluded place. It is kind of off the road. Just left the trailhead heading down. Um, you can already hear the waterfalls. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is quite gorgeous here. The falls is about 269 feet tall. Um, beautiful stream. And um, we're gonna just work on that long exposure today. Um, I really like it here. Air is fresh and crisp. The weather, mm, we're shooting kind of in the middle of the day. There's not much to uh, wait for. But the beautiful thing is, is the waterfall is actually in the shadows. Um, so we're gonna get some nice even lighting um, and we should be able to get um, a beautiful uh, look. to the falls and um, it is very beautiful here the falls is rising up high and um, I'm gonna take this one shot before a bunch of people come in this is heavily trafficked hike is easy you're gonna have to expect that especially in this area I'm gonna be shooting at ISO 50 so we eliminate all that noise and then I'm shooting at f13 so then everything is nice and sharp and we are shooting at one second you only need one second um, of exposure to get a nice smooth line. If you go any further than that, it's just going to look pretty much the same. Not that many changes. In fact, it might get even more mistier. And you don't want to 
create too much distraction. What I also have here um, in this fall is that I'm using this mini fall in the front as a foreground element to kind of lead your eye up to the high uh, waterfall that you're going to see in, ba in the background. We're shooting right in the middle of the day. It's usually a photography sin, but the reason why we're doing that is, as you can see right here, there are so many elements that are nicely shaded because the sun is on the other side of this ridge. So you can play with the light a little bit here. I was able to get my friend Jed on top of that little mountain. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him because since, since this is such a wide lens, but it just creates a little bit of a scale. And what I mean by scale is that you could see the waterfall up high and you could see the little person uh, right next to it. And it just shows how grandiose uh, this waterfall is. It's definitely worth checking out this little spot right here. So as soon as the people kind of clear out of here, I'm gonna take my shot. So I hope that turned out okay. It is very beautiful, very tall, and and sometimes you just need that majestic waterfall to keep you keep you going. Um, I'm lucky that in Portland, Oregon, it's not foggy, it's not raining. Um, although it is sunshine, you wouldn't expect the waterfalls to look that nice, but it actually turned out pretty good. So um, if this is my last segment. I just want to say thank you for coming with me. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, or comment. And uh, please let me know where you want me to go and I'll make that happen for you. Don't forget, keep chasing the light. Peace.